next on the student section, a college scam that is sweeping through the nation. The latest details coming up next. Plus, a black-only Mario meeting that has put Savannah in the national spotlight. Why do people make an issue out of it? Oh, I know why they make an issue out of it. Because they no longer have control. There's a new day in Chatham County in Savannah, Georgia. And a live check-in from the Hood News at 6. Sit back, relax, and kick up your feet. The student section starts now. Good morning, this is your girl Asia, and thank you for tuning in to the first episode of the student section. Our top headlines today, one of the biggest college scams in the world has taken over and left millions of people shocked. Here are the latest details. Operation Varsity Blues, landing more than a dozen parents before a federal judge this morning. The mothers and fathers accused of working with college consultant William Rick Singer to bribe test proctors and college coaches to make sure their kids got into top schools. Winemaker Augustin Honeas Jr. worked with Singer to get his daughter into USC as a water polo recruit. Singer even submitting this photo with the girl's application, even though it wasn't her. Honeas Jr. allegedly asking at one point, she actually won't really be part of the water polo team, right? Another father, founder of a private investment firm, Robert Zangrillo, not only bribed USC athletic officials to get his daughter recruited, but also had someone take classes on her behalf to get better grades for her application. Anything to say? You the latest group of court appearances follow former Yale soccer coach Rudy Meredith, who was silent outside of the courtroom Thursday. Once inside, pleading guilty to accepting hundreds of thousands of dollars in bribes to pretend students were soccer recruits. We took pride in that. It was revealed in unsealed court documents Meredith started cooperating with the FBI last year after getting caught in a sting operation, which eventually led investigators to Singer and unraveled the largest college admission scam ever. Hey, come on, come on. Also in court, former head coach of the University of Texas Austin men's tennis team, Michael Center, who did not enter a plea. Prosecutors say he accepted $100,000 to label a student as a recruit for his team, even though the student didn't play competitive tennis. His attorney spoke with Savannah and Hoda after Center was charged. Does your client deny accepting a bribe? My client certainly does. Michael Center is a wonderful man. This accusation has been devastating to him, and he absolutely denies being guilty of the offense. Meantime, the scandal stretches from Hollywood to Boston next week, when celebrities Lori Loughlin and Felicity Huffman make their initial court appearances. Now here's a live look over Savannah. We'll be right back. A mayoral candidate and current alderman Van Johnson is on the hot seat after attending a black-only meeting. He held a press with his first response, and here it is. I had a responsibility to the people inside. I also had a responsibility to the people outside as well. I had this unique opportunity to be that bridge, to build communication, and to encourage understanding. But on this singular occasion, I did not perform as I always have. Current mayor and candidate Eddie Deloach chimed in on the situation. Then took him over two days to apologize for his poor judgment. Since then, this has become a national embarrassment for all those that have called, emailed, and text my office from all walks of life. I want to assure you this is not who we are in Savannah. Well, what's up, Savannah State? Now, I know that spring just started, but winter still has its grass on it, so ladies, we're going to have to hold off on the sundresses for maybe just about one more week. Now, as for today's forecast, we have a high possibility of rain starting at 8 a.m. this morning, all the way up until about 2 when it starts to die down, then the low pressure system is going to slide on up out of Savannah around 5 p.m., giving us smooth and clear skies, but it's still going to be a little chilly, so... I would definitely advise you to keep your jacket on hold and have a great day. Go Tigers!
run for Mr. and Mrs. Savannah State is heating up. Here's Rico with the Hood News at 6. Good evening, we're live with the Hood News at 6. We're live right up here at Savannah State this afternoon as two rides and seniors are on the loose right now for robbing a bank this afternoon. But they said Antoine Yarborough and Mariah Truitt are on the run this afternoon. They said Metro and Marshalls are looking for these guys, but they said these guys are trying to reclaim the throne this afternoon. So if you guys will, make sure you go and please vote for these guys, Mr. and Miss. Uh, Savannah State so make sure you stay tuned with the hood news at 6 and we'll have much more on this horrific story as these guys rob the bank stay tuned with the hood news at 6 thank you and campus news the baseball team finally snapped their losing streak here are the highlights Well, that's all the time that we have today. Don't forget to stream us live on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for joining us at the student section.